everyone, welcome back. Ready to make some serious cash. I like your enthusiasm. Today, we are diving into a topic I know gets everyone fired up. Generating your first $10,000. An exciting milestone for sure. And we've got some great source material to break down that'll give everyone a solid plan to follow. Exactly. I actually love how this source frames making that first 10 grand. is. Mm. It's not just about like seeing the number in your bank account. Oh, absolutely not. It's about what that represents, about what it allows you to do. It's about the why. And this source really emphasizes that, right? Mm -hmm. Defining your why is step one. Yeah. Why are we chasing this? Is it to finally pay off that credit card debt? Mm -hmm. Is it for a down payment on a house to finally go on that dream vacation? Like, what's the driving force? And I think having a really clear picture of that why. Huge motivator. It is, because yeah. let's be real, the road to making money, sometimes it's bumpy. So you have to be really clear on what's pushing you. Yeah, that's what will get you through those inevitable challenges, because there will be challenges. Yeah. And actually, that ties into what I thought was a really interesting point this source made about timelines and expectations. Oh yeah. There's this whole get rich quick mentality out there and this source, it kind of slams on the brakes on that whole thing. It really does. It very clearly says those get rich quick schemes, they're not realistic and honestly, they're not sustainable, are they? Exactly. This source actually compared building wealth to growing an oak tree. You can't rush it. It takes time, patience, consistency. But in the end, you end up with something strong and enduring. I love that. So we've got our clear why. We've ditched those get rich quick fantasies. Now what? Now it's time to take stock. That's right. <laughs> Step two is all about inventory. You wouldn't bake a cake without knowing what ingredients you have on hand, right? Okay, I like where you're going with this. Same idea here. What skills do you have? What are you passionate about? What resources? And that doesn't just mean money do you have access to. Your network, your time, your existing tools, these are all resources. Oh, that's a really good point. So often people, when they think resources, they just think money I have in the bank, but there's so much more to it. Absolutely. It's about leveraging everything you've got. So we've taken stock, we've got our ingredients ready. Let's get cooking. It's where it gets really exciting, exploring different income streams. And boy, does this source have a menu for us. Freelancing, online businesses, investing, the gig economy, it's all on the table. There are so many options out there. It can almost feel overwhelming, right? Like, mm. how do you even know where to begin? But what I appreciate is this source doesn't just throw this laundry list of ideas at you and say, good luck. Right. It emphasizes finding the right fit for you. What aligns with your skills and your risk tolerance? Like, it specifically cautioned against jumping headfirst into something like cryptocurrency without really understanding it. Oh, yeah. It basically said you could get lucky, sure, but that's like navigating a minefield blindfolded, not exactly a sound strategy. Exactly. It's about making informed choices, not just chasing the latest trend. Makes sense. So we've dipped our toes into the exciting world of income streams. What's next on our $10,000 roadmap? Now it's time to talk about everyone's favorite topic, budgeting. Ooh. Budgeting. So, yeah, I know. It doesn't have the same ring to it as, say, starting a YouTube channel or flipping furniture for profit. True, true. But here's the thing. Budgeting doesn't have to be scary or restrictive. Huh. This source actually framed it as giving your money a roadmap. Instead of your money just disappearing into the void, you decide where it goes. Which is so empowering. You're in the driver's seat. Yeah. And, like, let's be real, even setting aside a little bit each week, it all adds up, right? Absolutely. Small steps lead to big results. And speaking of steps, let's talk about action. All right, let's do it. Steps five and six are where the rubber meets the road. Networking, marketing, putting yourself out there. Basically, taking those well-laid plans and turning them into, well, cold, hard cash. It's about making it happen. And you know what I realized? Sometimes the hardest part is just taking that first step, just putting yourself out there. 100%. This source, it really drove that home with a quote I loved. The world is run by those who show up. You have to be visible. You have to take action. So true. So we're showing up, we're taking action, but then it's not just about going full steam ahead blindly, right? Right. This source really stressed that this is an iterative process, trying things, analyzing the results, being willing to adapt. And that's where step seven comes in, never stop learning. Never stop learning. That's so key. Because the landscape of making money, especially online, it's constantly changing, isn't it? What works today might be outdated tomorrow, so you've got to be willing to learn and adapt. It's a continuous journey. And you know what helps you stay on that journey, especially when you hit those bumps? What's that? Going back to your why. Remembering that big picture dream. Oh, yeah, that's so important. 
All right, so we are constantly learning, we are staying motivated, and hopefully, finally, we are starting to see some of those acorns dropping. Yes. And that brings us to step eight, reinvesting. Reinvesting. Now, this doesn't mean you can't celebrate your wins along the way or enjoy some of that hard-earned cash, but it's about being strategic. Think of it like planting seeds. To reap a larger harvest in the future, you need to sow some of those seeds back into the ground. It's about playing the long game. Exactly. And building that wealth snowball over time. So there you have it, folks. The eight steps to making your first $10,000 and more importantly, unlocking the world of possibilities that comes with it. The real question is, where will your $10,000 journey take you? Now that's something to think about. Until next time, keep those entrepreneurial dreams alive.